the John Stoltrager Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now, of course, with John Stoltrager, head coach of the men's and women's swimming co- swimming teams. And, Coach, you guys go up um, over the weekend and have a pretty good success, you know, pretty solid finishes on the men's side and uh, with a short roster on the men's side. Yeah, we did pretty well on the, on the men's side. Obviously, with the numbers that we had, we didn't score as many points as, as you would like, mm-hmm. but – you know the the time improvement that we saw on all the kids on 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 the guy side was was great. I mean, Jack dropped six seconds in, in his two IM, which is pretty significant in mm-hmm. in, in a week. Um, and both Stephen and Zach dropped two seconds each in their two free, which is all you can ask for. Right, improvement is what you're looking for. And speaking of improvement, I mean, in the thousand yard free on the women's side, destroys the record by 25 seconds yeah again that's such an aerobic aerobic event um both both girls actually improved by 25 seconds wow um which which again shows you that they're they're getting in shape we've Mm -hmm. only been in the pool for five weeks and i would fully anticipate both of them dropping both their times again Mm -hmm. uh, next week and we talked last time we met uh about the records you know going you know we're breaking records almost every time we're in the pool. Um, on Saturday, you guys had five total records go down on the women's side. Uh, what does that do for, you know, optimism in, in the course of the season or, you know, getting back into the workout regimen of, you know, we can do this and, and keep on improving? Well, the nice thing about that is it shows at least the kids that, you know, the work, the hard work that they're putting in is paying off mm-hmm. and they're improving. It also shows that we're a deeper team, much deeper team than we were last year. To break some records this early in the season without being rested, and, and to be honest with you, we're not even, even in the best shape yet, um, shows that, you know, there are good things to come ahead. And that could be a scary thing that you guys aren't in perfect shape, you know, midseason form as we would call it. Uh, but you guys defeat hood and goucher by about 40 points and just narrowly missed defeating uh frostburg on saturday yeah, by th- three points I, I think again i think we have a dip, different culture this year than last year where the the kids are looking to win mm-hmm. um they're not only looking to compete but they they want to see if they can beat other teams which in the past i don't want to say hasn't happened but again we're developing as a team we're developing um, a different culture, and now we think we can go into a lot of meets and, and stand up to everybody. And it, it leads just to a lot of optimism, you know, just being able to have the, the roster size now to be competitive with those teams that are historically and, you know, uh, regularly really competitive teams, and now we're getting into that mode as well. Yeah, I, again, I you know, we, we won two meets this last weekend. Um, we're going up to Wilkes. Um, this weekend coming up and, and expect a battle there. But, you know, again, I think the girls are going in confident. And even the boys, with, with our five boys, it should be a, a battle on the boys' side where we could come out on top. That's really exciting to see in the boys. But we only have five guys, you know, so that it's hard to get those types of points when you only have such little opportunity to score in that way. Yeah, we're going to have to really swim smart. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to win almost every event on the boys' mm-hmm. side just to win the meet, but last year that's exactly what we did. We went into Wilkes, or Wilkes came to us, and mm-hmm. we won every single individual event and, and won the meet, and that's, what again, what we're going to try to do. It can be done, and hopefully it does get done. And then and we talked about the Wilkes event, but in two weeks you'll host our first event um, at McDonough School, our, our own swimming event. Yeah, we'll, we'll be hosting Lycoming College, which is in our conference, and also Dickinson, mm-hmm. um, which, again, is, is definitely a, a historic team that, you know, has a ton of depth, which is what you're looking for. You're looking to swim fast kids mm-hmm. and to push your kids to, to try to beat them, and, and that's what it's really all about. And, Coach, I wish you the best of luck this weekend at that meet at Wilkes on both sides uh, with the men's and women's teams, and we'll look forward to seeing you back home at McDonough on uh, the 5th. Okay, great. Thank you very much. He's John Stoltrager. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the John Stoltrager Coaches Show.